Hello, good evening to you wherever you are. The first piece of news to bring you is the fact that the heavens have opened a rainy night here. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon. And coming up, we have live action from the Dritte Liga. It's Veyen Wiesbaden, and they face KFC Uerdingen. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start, be accountable for your own performance, but above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. Well, here's something the visitors know they've really got to work on, Lee. I'm talking about scoring goals. They just haven't had the magic touch. Well, Derek, you don't need me to point out their weaknesses coming into today's game. They just don't score, and it has to change, and it has to change quickly. Maybe a few more balls direct into the box, round the corners, over the top. Just change it up a little bit. This is how it looks for the home side. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. A 4-4-2, but with the emphasis on attack. Yeah, very much so, Derek. The number 10 will supply the support for the strikers. Three very, very narrow midfield players will also get forward. A little bit worried about the full-backs exposed on that side. They need to be on their game when they don't have the ball. Dominic Prokop. Good looking ball. Just straying offside. Nielsen. Wagner. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Wagner. Well, the keeper had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Played into the centre of the box, foiling them effectively. Adriano Grimaldi. A glorious chance. Oh, he's given it. Penalty and an opportunity now for them to jump in front. He's been admonished by the referee. He's now got to walk something of a tightrope. Yeah, he knows exactly where he stands. Look at the referee, how he's told him off there. No yellow card, but certainly knows what the referee's thinking. And the penalty is converted. A goal it is. And now he can exhale. Well, here it is again, Derek. The keeper's already on his way. He just waits for him to move and then strokes it down the middle.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Asani Leukemia. Wagner. Very comfortable when in possession. And moving the ball nicely. A chance to whip it in. Teammate available. Dominic Prokop. This might be ideal for the counter. Will they profit from this situation? Prokop. Nielsen defended well the visitors are struggling with possession really but they won't mind with that they're winning this game they're sucking their opponents onto them and with the pace they've got in midfield and up front they're really causing problems well sloppy in possession Mockenhaupt. It's opening up for them. Wagner. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Excellent block. What can he do from here? Losing possession a bit easily. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Can they keep it going? And the pass could do damage. Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one-versus-one -one situation. Well, high fives all round for the goalkeeper, absolutely fantastic. Over it comes. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Malone. Well, there is the half-time whistle. And just listen to the fans. It's one of the benefits, Lee, of being so close to them. The home fans less than pleased about that penalty decision. Well, they're making their uh, feelings known to the referee, known to the players. The players are obviously having a word with the referee as well. I'm not so sure it's a penalty from my point of view, but it's given. Now they've got to go in, regroup at half-time, see how they go on in the second half. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Grimaldi. Wagner. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Can they get in behind them? Tremendous intuition to win it back. Nielsen. It's a weighted pass. Prokop. And it might be. Good defending to prevent the chance. 
And he read it well defensively. Half an hour remaining then. Adriano Grimaldi. Wagner. Excellent passing. Getting in there to intercept. And a throw in it's going to be. Well, they've decided to make a change. Crossing possibilities. Well, nothing comes of it. Grimaldi. Real danger. Cuts it back. And a goal! They've increased their lead and they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And the relaxed way he strikes that into the back of the net is pure quality. Well, a second goal for them here. Fifteen minutes remaining. The visitors' possession stats are brilliant. If you don't control the ball in midfield, it's very difficult to have enough of the ball to create chances for your strikers and really has been a dominant performance. And he did well to cut it out. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Well, possibilities inside the box. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. So the corner played into the box. Played into the centre of the box. It's opening up for them. An attack full of promise. But strong play here on the shielding front. Prokop. It looks promising. Dominic Prokop. And that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time and it's a victory for the visitors, Lee. Well, Derek, they may well find it hard to score goals. We know that, but they've had a day out today. Smashing result. Really strong attacking game plan. 
The coach will be absolutely delighted.